So this video gives you a quick overview of the iCloud course at iRock My Mac released in March of 2012. This was one of the more difficult courses that I've actually had to make because iCloud has a lot of little quirks about it. A lot of little things that uh, until you really start to use it and learn it, uh, it can throw you off. And if you go on user forums uh, about iCloud, you're going to see lots of people confused about a lot of the capabilities here. So there are eight videos, but those eight videos add up to about 65 minutes of training because there was just so much to cover in here of things to try to show you regarding iCloud. So we start out the first video is just an intro to what cloud computing is and then what Apple's version of cloud computing is that they've called iCloud. There's been multiple uh, kind of entries by Apple into this most recently mobile me and then we start to get into iCloud itself and this is actually an eight minute video just on everything you need to do to set up and configure iCloud. Now most of this is stuff you just do once and once once you're done, then you're done. But you have to do all this and kind of do it correctly to start using it uh, and getting the features out of it that you want. Then we move into Photo Stream, which is a neat capability to sync pictures across your devices and Mac. But uh, as with everything in here, a lot of little quirks. Certainly things that you need to pay attention to with Photo Stream and some frustrating things about Photo Stream right now that uh, hope Apple kind of fixes as the years go on. Then we get into uh, iTunes and iTunes Match. Two videos here. So iTunes in the cloud adds a couple of features and iTunes Match is $25 a year and adds lots of additional things. Now, this isn't for everybody but I think it's worth watching and see if you like it and then if you like iTunes Match then where iTunes Match gets really cool is when you start to use it across your devices, your iPad and your iPhones. Essentially what this gives you the ability to do is have a single place in the cloud Cloud, all of your music, all of your iTunes library, and all at a very high quality of music. And quality meaning the quality of the files. So older musical files can be upgraded or updated to uh, better quality versions of those songs and everything synced across everything. Uh, it's not really great English there, but you get the gist. Then we move into Documents in the Cloud, which is the ability to uh, work with pages and keynote and numbers. This works very well across devices, not so well from the Mac out to those devices yet but I'll cover that for you and help you understand that and then the last two of the eight videos here on page two get into uh, mail and address book and iCal. Uh, this is really uh, much the same as what was in mobile me. This is probably the area that uh, works as you would expect and, and works pretty well. And then last is iCloud backup to be able to back up your iPad and iPhone and iPod touch wirelessly. You no longer have to plug it into iTunes to do that. And then a couple of other miscellaneous features, uh, find a friend and find your iPhone or find your iPad, which uh, shouldn't be overlooked. They're, they're cool features, especially the being able to locate an iPhone or iPad if it's been lost. So there you go, that's the eight videos with the iCloud course at iRock My Mac. And as always, please give me some feedback. Let me know what you think about the course. And of course, and I will be dripping out multiple videos about iCloud uh, as we go forward. But this course uh, is pretty comprehensive and will teach you most of what you need to know.